appreciate you joining us. Well, let's revisit the story that we broke. Uh, Mukda Varyar, our uh, correspondent who's been tracking this story, is breaking uh, the news for us that LNT has signed the share purchase agreement with VG Siddhartha to buy his 20.4% stake uh, in Mindtree. Uh, Mukda, take it away. Yes, Shireen, uh, we understand that the deal between LNT and VG Siddhartha has been signed just a few minutes ago, and this announcement will also be uh, you know, put up on exchanges where LNT is agreed to buy the entire 20.4% stake that VG Siddhartha holds in Mindtree along with the CCD entities. Remember, LNT is paying rupees 981 per share, and it will also go for an open offer to take its entire stake in Mindtree to 51%. And you know, remember, this deal is being signed just two days before uh, Mindtree is set to have a board meeting to announce a share buyback which its promoters you know have thought of as a last uh, resort to uh, thwart this LNT takeover but there it's done today VG Siddhartha was in Mumbai to meet the LNT uh, board and the LNT management and the deal has been signed uh, just a few minutes ago and uh, the announcement is expected anytime soon now. An official announcement expected. Uh, Mukda Variar breaking that story for us. LNT to pay 981 rupees per share for that 20.4% stake that VG Siddhartha holds in uh, uh, Mindtree. But you know, we were speaking with Ashok Suta, one of the co founders of Mindtree, earlier this morning. And his point of view was that it's going to be very hard for the founders of Mindtree uh, to ensure that this deal doesn't go through. And it was only a matter of time that LNT, not just with this deal, but also with the open offer, uh, would be able to, uh, to get this transaction to pass muster. Uh, and his opinion was that either way, it would, uh, it would be good news as far as minority shareholders are concerned. But we will now have to see. Remember yesterday, Subroto Bhakti uh, resigned from his government appointment and said that he was coming back to Mindtree to thwart any attempt of a hostile takeover. Uh, but this is the information that we're getting at this point in time. LNT has now inked that pact with BG Siddhartha to pick up 20.4% of his stake. Uh, Nisha, quick comment from you. Oh, that's right, uh, Shirin. Uh, but it, the deal is not over yet. That's the big worry here because uh, uh, Mindtree promoters would be uh, looking at more options as well. They tried a frail attempt was buyback. Now that is foiled. Uh, going forward, they are looking for a white knight as well. But it will be very, very critical to see how LNT will manage this takeover battle if the management and the founders are really not in sync with this particular plan. And in fact, if they are the aggrieved party and exit from the company, whether it will lead to a mass exodus when it comes to employees as well. Because remember, employees are the biggest assets that an IT firm has. So that's one of the big worries that remains. But on the other hand, we also have to look at it from the investor point of view. VG Siddharth will want to sell his stake in the company at the top buck and whether or not the promoters really support him at this point, Shirin. Uh, let's bring in Ravi Menon, uh, lead IT analyst at Alara Capital. Ravi, you were with us this morning as well. Uh, what we are given to understand is that the share purchase agreement between LNT and VG Siddhartha has been inked. It will be made official uh, shortly. But what do you now make of this transaction, given the fact that Mindtree's promoters have made absolutely no bones about the fact that they don't want to take this deal forward? Uh, I'm sure that, you know, LNT uh, management is uh, wise enough to understand that uh, you know that, and they've taken this into account that they've got a hostile manager who's made it plain that uh, they are going to remain hostile. So, I think that they must have secured uh, the support of a few other key share, uh, shareholders. You know, with, and that will take them to a comfortable majority, or at least uh, you know beyond 30 percent, uh, where they think you know. Then the next thing will be a deal sweetener for the remaining shareholders uh, for a share swap, uh, which is what we envisage. You know, would be the next step. Okay, so you're, 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 you believe that the phase two in this could be the share swap to get the existing uh, founders on board. Uh, but Ravi, you know, while synergies, etc., will be spoken of, operationally, given the fact that this is, you know, the first hostile takeover that we're seeing in the Indian IT space, uh, uh, what could the impact be, at least in the near term, for Mindtree? Uh, see, I, I don't expect there to be a lot of exodus. Uh, you know, uh, the founders might exit, uh, perhaps a few of the senior management might. Uh, but for the middle management and the lower ranks, I'm not sure of too much changes, you know, especially because there is uh, not too much in, I'd say, overlap uh, among the key verticals. I mean, Mindtree's biggest vertical is, you know, high tech uh, and media, uh, while for LNT, uh, it is LTI, it is BFSI. 
so I don't see, you know, there'll hmm. be too many conflicts in account management uh, or in different accounts. Uh, so it should be I think largely synergistic. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, the LTI management uh, will manage this uh, transition quite well. Uh, so, you know, we are still hopeful that you know, the end result should be fairly uh, good. Uh, you know, but yes, this is the first hostile takeover. There are risks, uh, you know, and I'm sure that they've also thought this through. You know, that's, that's why I feel that, you know, this is, mm. and it's not as if they were, uh, you know, they, they were forced into this. LTA was doing really, really well on its own. Yeah. So, you know, if they want to uh, change that and, you know, take on this risk, uh, I think they must have also evaluated this very carefully and I'm sure they have a game plan. Okay, Ravi, hang in there. Let me bring in Urmil Shah uh, of uh, IDBI Capital as well. Urmil, many thanks. Uh, uh, what we are given to understand, but this continues to be source-based information, that the share purchase agreement between LNT and VG Siddhartha for the 20.4% stake in Mind Tree has been inked just a short while ago. We are still awaiting official confirmation. Urmil, uh, what does this mean now in the near term for the company? So I think uh, this price uh, is uh, uh, quite reasonable. It values uh, Mindry at uh, 16 times on FI21. Uh, the only uh, understanding which we will need mm -hmm. to uh, uh, take is uh, uh, if uh, this is actually uh, for now happening at the group level and uh, uh, and whether it is right. uh, uh, at the LNT group or it is done through LTI. Uh, that is LNT Infotech, uh, because uh, I believe that uh, if it is done at uh, LNT Infotech level, uh, at least for the uh, next uh, uh, year or so, uh, uh, we believe that the integration headwinds uh, do remain, and uh, because of which uh, okay. there could be slight derating on LNT Infotech. Okay, just hang in there, but let, let me get that clarification uh, from our colleague Mukda Variar, who broke that story. Mukda, you know, there has been a lot of back and forth on this issue, but uh, it is LNT that's inked the share purchase agreement. It is, it is, it is LNT. And, you know, I, uh, there doesn't seem to be any plans for a merger with LNT Infotech anytime soon as well. It is LNT which is, you know, going to uh, purchase the stake and also go uh, take its stake up to 51% as of now. Okay, Urmil, with that clarification, uh, does that ease some of the concerns you just raised? Yeah, it, it, it does ease uh, some of the concerns, but uh, uh, we will need to see the commentary and uh, understand what is actually the three to five year plan uh, because clearly uh, you know uh, hmm. uh, LNT having both Mindry and LNT Infotech at the group level uh, with uh, similar uh, 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 ID services business as what uh, Ravi was uh, uh, hmm. telling about uh, does not make sense in, 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 in from a long term point of view. Uh, so of course they will have to uh, uh, you know uh, 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 do the operational levers and try to get uh, the operating matrix of uh, Mindry uh, to the levels at which uh, uh, LTI is uh, operating at. And uh, once that is done, and then if uh, okay. we have a merger, uh, th that would mean a win-win situation for uh, minority shareholders of both the companies. Okay. Ravi, before I let you go, what would be the key questions that you would like uh, more uh, color and commentary from? The management uh, I think, uh, you know, the open offer price would be one, uh, you know, what are they thinking about, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, will it be just at the CV mandated minimum or will it be a substantial premium to, you know, what they've offered uh, VGC Delta? Yes, uh, that is, of course, uh, information that we're still awaiting. As I pointed out, this is source-based information. We are still expecting the official announcement to be made public to the stock exchanges in a short while from now.